गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सो टुडे वे आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ टॉपिक सेल थ्योरी फॉर क्लास नाइन इन द लास्ट क्लास वी टॉक अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेल फंक्शन साइज एक्सेट्रा फॉर अ सेल नाउ टुडे वे आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन दिस चैप्टर दैट इज सेल थ्योरी ओके so be very cautious very careful to these four points because these four points are quite important from point of view of your exams okay so let us start with cell theory so cell theory as you see the first line was given by two scientists sheldon and swan okay so the cell theory was given by sherlin and swan though there are many controversies over the names sherlin and swan because these two scientists are credited for giving cell theory but no doubt there are many other scientists such as virchow who gave a very important contribution to the for framing of these Four theories. So there are many other scientists also, along with Virchow, who gave a lot of contribution in cell theory. But we talk about Sheldon and Swan, who have been credited for giving this cell theory. Okay. So cell theory basically means a theory which discusses, describes all about a cell. okay so let's start with the first point that is the first point says all living organisms are made up of cell or cell products so this was part of definition of cell all living organisms are made up of cells or cell products this means that there could be no organism which is not made up of cell if it is a living organism it has to be made up of a cell or cell product so now you can well understand what does this word line mean that all living organisms are made up of cell but what does the term cell products mean cell product means sometimes an organism can be made up of a part of it can be made up of carbohydrates of fats proteins etc and these are known as cell products so this is our first point of cell theory all living organisms are made up of cell or cell products coming to the second point all metabolic processes take place inside the cell that means metabolic processes are such as digestion respiration circulation etc you can say all important processes you can say all processes important for sorry for living organisms are said to be metabolic processes and such processes include examples like digestion respiration and circulation so this point says though these processes look like to happening to be happening in different parts of body but the actual site of all metabolic processes is the cell 
the food we eat no doubt looks like it's getting into our body in the digestive system but the actual function of food comes to be in existence only after it reaches the cell the oxygen which we have inhaled actually reaches to the cell the blood which is flowing in our body actually transports air oxygen carbon dioxide food to the cell this means all the important activities required for survival of an organism which is called a metabolic process is taking place inside the cell moving to the third point it says all cells originate from pre-existing cell only no cell can originate spontaneously that means I cannot prepare a cell in a laboratory in a lab or at my house you cannot do that the only process by which a cell is formed is reproduction of the pre-existing cell a cell can be formed only from pre-existing cells there was a time when I was not existing I was in my mother's womb at that time I was a single cell that single cell has come from my father and mother they were again single cell and came from their father and mother so every cell has to originate from a pre-existing cell no cell can originate spontaneously it cannot be prepared in a kitchen or a lab or something in a house or any sophisticated manner a cell can only reproduce from pre-existing cell okay then comes the fourth point all life start from single cell only that means no life can start as a human I cannot be born as it is I am I can only start my life as a single cell you started your life as a single cell every organism on this planet once started its life as a single cell when it was a time when our parents fertilized the sperm and the egg mother and father gave half cell each which fertilized fertilized and formed one cell our father gave the sperm cell suppose okay and mother gave the egg cell at this point of time there was no existence of us we were not existing this was acting as mother oh sorry mother's oh sorry. I have written it the other way here the cells were existing as mother cell or the father cell when these two fertilized together this was the first time when it they formed one cell single cell and our life stuck we came into existence then this cell reproduced to form two cells then these two cells again reproduce to form one cell each so one cell gave rise to two cells these two cells gave rise to four cells and then each of them divided again to give rise to eight cells okay and in this way our life started so you can see the third and the fourth point can be seen clear in this diagram first talking about the fourth point the life started from single cell only okay so here we see the mother and the father gave one, uh, one cell or cell from their system and that cell fertilized together to form one cell that was our existence that's why we say all life started from single cell only then after this point when single cell was formed this cell divided into two that divided into four that divided into eight and will further keep on dividing and 
third point will come into existence all cells originate from pre-existing cell only so now we can see once again revision to this cell theory what was the, it was given by Sheridan and Swan and it has four points the first point says all living organisms are made of cells or cell products second point says all metabolic processes take place inside the cell we define metabolic processes as all those processes which are necessary or important for survival of a living organism the third point says all cells originate from pre-existing cell only and the fourth point says all life starts from single cell only so this is all for today thank you